Good morning, class. Good morning, teacher Roa. Okay, please remain standing. Mary Shifra, lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So before you sit down, pick up pieces of paper and arrange your chairs. Arrange your chairs first. Before we will proceed to our discussion for today, I will check your attendance first. Mary Elaine. Present. Mary Shifra. Present. Kian. Present. Okay, perfect attendance. Very good. So, last meeting, we discussed about the parts of the Microsoft Excel. So, where can you find the conditional formatting? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Okay, Kian. Precise stamp. Okay, very good, Kian. So, now where can you find the row bar in the Microsoft Excel? Where can you find the row bar? Okay, Mary Shifra. On the left side of the screen. Okay, very good. This is the row bar. So, now we will be discussing about using functions and formulas in an electronic spreadsheet to perform advanced calculation on numerical data. Mary Elaine, can you read the first sentence? An electronic spreadsheet application program is designed to perform basic mathematical and arithmetic operations. Okay, very good, Mary Elaine. So, now... Microsoft Excel is one of the most commonly used computerized worksheets. It is widely used in accounting and financial applications, statistics, engineering calculations, and analysis data. So, can you read the third? Mary Shifra. Spreadsheets are designed with functions and formulas that makes it easier and convenient for you to calculate numeric data. Using formulas and functions will help you improve the accuracy of your calculation while reducing the amount of time you need to spend in Excel. Thank you. So there are hundreds of functions found in Excel. All these can be accessed using either of the following methods. So first, click the insert function. You can see it on your laptops. Click the insert function button FX from the left side of formulas tab. Then select a function from one of the list in the insert function dialog box. Then click OK. A function arguments dialog box will appear and will automatically assist you to input numbers in your selected function. This window indicates what each function does and the arguments that each function considers. Directly input numbers into the cells. Use full prompts showing the format of the function and the arguments that should be inserted will appear. You may also use the mouse to click the desired ranges that you want to include in the function. Then the cell's address will automatically be inserted in your function. Once the numbers are typed in the dialog box, click OK. So the answer to the function is shown in the cell. So this is the example image. So you need to click the formula, then click the fx, which is the insert function. Then you will you you will select a function, then click OK. So functions are calculations that return a result. So to create and enter functions, always start with an equal sign. Equal sign. Very good. Without it. Excel will not calculate a result. So the inputs in functions are called arguments. So arguments can be in a form of numbers, cell references, or text. So these functions are presented in the table. So these are the different functions you can use. The sum, the product, 
quotient, power, average, and round. So the sum adds all the numbers in a range of cell. If you want to know the sum of a number, so you can so you can use this formula. So it says there that we need to start with an equal sign then followed by the function you want to use. Sample, we will use sum. Then open parenthesis, then drag. I will show you an example. So let's go to Microsoft Excel first. So if you want to calculate the sum of column A, you need to input what symbol we need to do we need to input first? Equal sign. Okay. Start with an equal sign then followed by the function. Then open parenthesis, then drag 5 to Then what is the answer for the column A? We'll answer. Okay, Shifra. 26. Okay, very good. The answer is 26. So next, we will proceed to the product. So product multiplies all the numbers. So you need to multiply all the numbers. Then the result is what we call the product. So we need to input first the equal sign and the function product drag what you need to drag the to drag the <coughs> cursor on which number do you want to multiply so for example we will multiply the column b all of the number here then what is the answer we'll answer okay kian 360. 360, eh? Okay, very good. So, 360. So, next is the quotient. So, gives the, inti the integer portion of a division. So, quotient is the answer for division. division. Okay, very good. So, we will start with so, we will get the quotient of so we will start with equal sign then the open parenthesis. function quotient open parenthesis then we will divide six divided by divided by two so what is the answer Mary Elaine what is the answer? 6 divided by 2. 3. Wait. Something wrong. Wait. No. I don't <laughs> 6 divided by 2 is very good. 3. So now we will proceed to so round round is rounds a number to a specific specified number of digits. So we will input first the for example 165 round open parenthesis 165 divided by divided by 9 then we will Round the answer will round. We will round off the answer to two decimal places. So we will input. <coughs> we will input two here. Then what is the answer? Who wants to answer? <coughs> okay, very shifra. No, two decimal places only. Eighteen point three three. Okay, very good. So you you need to always remember that
that you need to input first the equal sign, equal sign followed by the function. Uh, function you want to use, then drag the cursor. No, you need to first put open parenthesis, <coughs> then drag the, the cursor function. on the number you want to get answer from, or you want to multiply, add, or divide, or get the average, then close parenthesis, parenthesis then enter. So Microsoft Excel will make calculating numerical data easier and convenient for you. You will need, you only need to input the, the formula of the function you want answers. Then, okay, now answer the following questions on one half cross y. Answer this one. Okay, are you done answering? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, exchange your papers. Exchange papers. Okay, number one. It calculates average of a series of numbers. What's the answer? Okay, shifra. Average. Okay, average. It multiplies all the numbers. Okay, Pian. Product. Okay, product. Number three, adds all the numbers in a range of cells. Okay, Elaine? Sub. Okay, sub. Number four, it rounds a number to a specified number of digits. Okay, Shifra. Round. Round, very good. It gives the integer portion of a division. Okay, Elaine? Quotient. Quotient, it's quotient, very good. Number six, most commonly used computerized worksheets. What's the answer? Okay, Shifra. Microsoft Excel. Okay, very good. The Microsoft Excel. Number seven, it helps increase the accuracy of calculations while decreasing the amount of time spent in Excel. Okay, Elaine? Formulas and functions. Okay, very good. So now let us proceed to... Test 2. You need, using the data in the table as your guide, read and analyze the questions carefully. So what is the answer for number 1? What function or formulas you need to use in the total number you, that will give you the total number of EPP books sold in 6 months from June to November? Okay. Mary Lane? Letter C. Letter C? Wrong. Okay, Shifra. Okay, Shifra. Letter B. Okay, letter B. Okay, what is the formula to get the total number of books sold in six months from June to November? Okay, Mary Lane? Letter A. Very good. Letter A. What is the formula to get the product of all sold EPP books? EPP books. So this one. Okay, Kian? D. Letter? D. D. Very good. What is the formula to get the product of all books sold for the month of August. Only for the month of August. Number four. Number four. Okay, Shifra. D. Okay, letter D. So using the formula equals quotient B49, you will get blank as quotient. So this <coughs> the formula quotient B4 plus 1, 2, not X. Answer number 5. D. Okay, letter? D. D. Number 6. The formula quotient 6. This, this formula will give a quotient of. Mm, C6. This one, C6. Okay, C6 divided by B8. 
D is this one. So what answer? What is the answer? Okay, Kian. Letter B. Letter B. Very good. What is the formula to find the average of sold math books in five months? Okay, Shifra. So, letter B. Number seven. What is your answer? Number seven. Okay, very good. Next, find the remainder using the formula. Using this formula, what is the answer? Number eight. Okay, number eight. Letter C. Letter C. Very good. You will get three hundred seven. You will get three hundred seventy nine if you multiply the number of sold EPP and math books and other products. What is the formula? Okay, Kian. D. Letter D. Very good. Last number. Using the formula, this formula, what is the result? Number 10. Okay, Kian. B. Okay. Letter B. B. So, who got perfect? So, all in all, the total scores will be 17. Then, add 3 because all of you are present. Who got perfect? 20. Okay, give me your paper. 19. Got 19. 18. Okay, Mary Elaine. 17. 16. 15. Okay, very good, Kian. Okay, let us uh, now turn off your computer, a laptops. Then stand for our closing <coughs> prayer. Okay, Kian, can you lead our closing prayer? Stand up here. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come. The will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil, Amen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, goodbye class. Goodbye, goodbye teacher. teacher. <laughs>